what is up you guys it is Rare Brene here welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here do not forget to hit the subscribe button to become a part of the family because you're gonna love it here and if you are not what's up girl thank you for coming back so today as you guys can see by the title we're gonna be doing um some hygiene tips you know a little hygiene routine to just put the girls on i'm going to just be letting you guys in on some tips that i do to um help me stay fresh and smelling good all day all right y'all so we're gonna be jumping right into it starting with oral care number one on the list y'all brushing your teeth everybody should be brushing their teeth at least twice a day a.m and p.m no questions asked point blank period. So to brush my teeth, I like to use an Oral-B soft bristled toothbrush. They do have medium and hard bristled toothbrushes, but um, my dentist told me that those are not good because I think it breaks down the enamel on your teeth over time. You're supposed to be only using a soft bristled toothbrush. So originally I used to use a medium one and transitioning was hard for me. Um, you just have to find the right toothbrush for you because some of the toothbrushes that are soft bristled, like it'll make it feel like it's just kind of doing this on your teeth instead of actually like brushing your teeth. And so the Oral-B one was the best one for me because it's soft, but like the bristles are hard. And then I like to go in with Colgate toothpaste. This is the Max Fresh Cool Mints. I've been using this toothpaste for years. It gets the job done. I absolutely love it. So highly recommend this toothpaste for brushing your teeth. So after brushing my teeth, I love to go in with a mouthwash. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite mouthwash. This is my favorite flavored one. This is just the cool mint one. Y'all see I got this big one liter bottle. Let me know down in the comments below if y'all feel like I should try something else. But I love Listerine. Another thing in your oral care, y'all should all be flossing. We at least need to be flossing once a day. Flossing is very important because the old food that's like stuck in your teeth and stuff can lead to bad breath that you might be experiencing if you don't floss. So it's important to really get that stuff out so that your breath is not stinking. Um, I like to use these Grin Floss Picks. I used to do like the regular flossing, but I found that I like floss picks way better. It's just like a lot more convenient for me personally. Love the Grim brand. They have multiple floss picks that you can choose from. Like a smooth, they got like the smooth one, they got the double one, like it's just so many. So I highly recommend trying this brand out and it's super affordable. Um, it would help improve your oral health. Um, so yeah, floss y'all, floss at least once a day get to it okay next in your oral care tongue scraping tongue scraping is good for getting bacteria off of your tongue y'all know that a nasty tongue can also lead to nasty breath they do have tongue scrapers that you can reuse for like a few months you just do it you scrape your tongue you clean it just like you know having your normal toothbrush but i prefer these grin tongue scrapers these are disposable use it one time toss it out it's just easier for me so highly recommend getting on try at least trying to um scrape your tongue you know some people might be good with just using your toothbrush and brushing scraping your tongue even with your toothbrush is it needs to happen you know and then back to when we were talking about brushing your teeth making sure that you just get in everywhere when you're brushing your teeth you gotta like get the tongue get under the tongue get the top of your mouth just get everywhere okay y'all oral care is just really important in our hygiene y'all you don't want to be so pretty and then your mouth is just so nasty you don't want that so yeah let's just take care of our mouth so when you are out and you know you just ate or whatever it is good to keep mints on you it's good to keep gum on you um they also it's also good to keep floss picks on you you can definitely just put some in a baggie and like put them in your purse or you know whatever Ever. so now that we are done with our oral care we're gonna hop right on into our body care and these are just tips for smelling good and having nice smooth skin you guys should be double cleansing when you are in the shower double cleansing you you gotta you gotta be double cleansing not just one cleanse you want to go back and make sure like i got all the cracks and i'm smelling good my favorite soap to use is dove Dove bar soap, I use this soap all the time. Um, so like even if I don't want to go in with a body wash, when I shower all the time, I double cleanse. So that is literally going in, washing, rinsing off, washing again. Like two, two cleanses, okay? And then that's how you know if you double cleanse, you're pretty much you're you're gonna be smelling good. 
okay and if you're not then you better go in and triple cleanse <laughs> i like to go in with this and then i also like to go in with a body wash this is a deep moisture one um it's great it has a nice clean scent to it i already know dove has plenty of um different scents that you can choose from this just so happens to be one of my favorite ones so yeah it's a whole bunch of different brands that you guys can choose from when it comes to a nice body wash this is just my favorite one so we do want to make sure that we are double cleansing whether we are just using our general body soap twice or we're doing our body soap and then going in with a nice body wash moving right along from that exfoliation these are like the top two in my shower right now i have the tree hut coco colada i like this one and then i also have the raw sugar scrub yeah so both of these scrubs are super great love both brands so um just a start if you are unsure of what route to go in with your exfoliation routine try out these brands and these particular scents too because they smell really good but i'm pretty sure the girls already know about tree hut so yeah um exfoliation is really good for keeping our skin nice and smooth you don't want to over exfoliate i recommend doing exfoliation about twice a week maybe even three times a week just to have your skin smooth with my particular routine i like to go in i cleanse my body then i'll exfoliate and then i'll do my second cleanse um and that's just how i like to do it so for other forms of exfoliation they have the dry brush they have an exfoliating towel they have the exfoliating gloves um so if you if you don't want to do the physical scrubs because you know some people say it's too messy you can go down that route and try those um but physical exfoliating is my favorite another way to keep smooth skin of course is shaving i don't shave my arms but i do shave my legs some girls prefer waxing on the legs, but shaving works just fine for me. And in the event that I'm shaving in the shower, I like to first cleanse my skin. Then I go in and I exfoliate. Then I will go in with my razor. And then after I do that, I go in with my um, second cleanse. So right now for shaving my legs, I just use this simple little Venus razor. Nothing spectacular about it. It's just a general razor and it gets the job done for me. So yeah Also when it comes to shaving you can use like a shaving oil or cream. I personally don't use those right now Let me know down in the comments if I need to get put on one. Okay, let me know next up We always want to be making sure that we are using deodorant We just have to okay. It gives you coverage that you need me personally. I like to use dove deodorant I love dove y'all I like using the Advanced Care Stick. They have different ones, a whole bunch of different scents. Find you one that you like, get on it. So this is the one that I have right now. This is the Restore one and it smells good, gets the job done. They also have spray deodorants. I'm not a big spray deodorant girl. I feel like I have more coverage with the stick than I do with the actual spray um it's completely up to you whatever you choose just make sure that you are using your deodorant every day they also have minis of both they have the mini stick they got the mini spray so you can definitely put it in your purse your backpack your car wherever to just touch up throughout the day if you're out all day moving on moisturizing y'all we have to be making sure that we're moisturizing especially in the drier months lately i have been using the jergens lotion let me get the big daddy out for y'all this is what I've been using lately. This is just the original scent. This is the cherry almond scent. They have so many different lotions, y'all. Nivea has lotion. I think Dove has lotion. Everybody got lotion. So just finding one that you like and making sure that your skin is moisturized. There's nothing worse than like looking cute and then just being ashy. Y'all know they got to-go lotions too. So that can go in your car, your purse, whatever. You don't want to have like, you know, like the ashiness in between your fingers and just, you know, just ashy anywhere. Ashy elbows, ashy ankles. Don't be walking around here ashy, okay? Let's do better, okay? Let's, let's moisturize. If you don't like lotion, they also have body butters that you can use. They got body creams. You can do body oil for a lighter feel if you don't like the heavier feel that lotion gives you. But whatever you're using, just, just make sure that you are, you know, moisturizing and that you're just not walking around ashy. That also ties into, you know, having smooth skin because if you're ashy, your skin more than likely is pretty rough. So make sure that you're moisturizing on a daily basis so that over time your skin can be soft and just glowy and, you know, 
looking good um moving right along i put on here that you should make sure that you are using a body spray or a perfume using a body spray or a perfume literally tops off your whole hygiene routine it's necessary y'all like I, it's just it just is okay you want to just find you a signature scent um two body sprays that i like from bath and body works um is the sunset glow and then i also like the saltwater breeze girl it ain't really nothing left in saltwater breeze i really love this scent this one is just a um like a very fresh scent it's like fresh out the shower i'm smelling amazing y'all it just smells so clean and then this one is more on the sweet side both of them are great you know find the scent that you really like and then you know use it because body sprays are necessary for perfume one of my favorites right now is the mark jacobs this is the perfect mark jacobs scent get you a good perfume get you a good spray whatever it is get you one it just literally ties everything together what i wanted to tell you guys though is that when you are using scents you want to make sure that they cohesively mix together you don't want to use scents that don't go because then you can end up smelling bad instead of smelling good all right y'all so that's pretty much all I have for body care now we are going to move in to the kitty okay kitty care y'all we have to be taking care of the cats girl we gotta take care of her we have to I just want to let y'all know that simple is better okay don't be doing too much to her because that's when she can just start acting up okay you want to keep it simple the kitty does clean itself so you don't want to do the most because too much can be bad. So I do not recommend putting any soaps or body washes into your vagina. That should not be happening. So don't do that, y'all. Don't, don't, don't be putting the dove that I just showed y'all, the little dove body washes. Don't be, don't be putting that up in her, okay? She's going to act out, so don't do it. So when we are cleaning her, we want to make sure that we're just using a general soap. I use my original dove bar soap that I showed y'all earlier. That's all I use down there. Cleaning out the outer parts okay we're not getting in the vagina we're cleaning the outer parts so open that thing up get in there and get out okay make sure it's clean it's smelling fresh and we good to go you definitely just don't want to be going inside of the vagina because like i said that can lead to things that you don't want in the future i know people like to use feminine washes down there me personally i have never done it and she's been just fine you just want to make sure that it's gentle and that it's not too scented and stuff because i'm telling y'all that stuff can really irritate you i mean not everybody is sensitive but you just want to make sure that you're doing your research and like okay you know this is good this is gentle whatever the case is just don't do too much okay so we're gonna move on to underwear cotton underwear is honestly the best underwear to wear because we don't want excess moisture down there and cotton is just really breathable but i know that the girlies like to do the silk they like to do the lace and all of that and wearing those underwear it's perfectly fine um i would just say that just in case you want to keep some panty liners on you don't want excess moisture down there y'all because as we know that can lead to yeast infection so just making sure that we um are just keeping everything dry down there that is like the number one priority all right y'all so let's talk about periods real quick when on your period you want to make sure that you are changing your tampon your pad your menstrual cup whatever it is that you use change it out frequently i don't use tampons i don't use um menstrual cups i use pads and you don't want to keep it on for long periods of time it can irritate you and then leaving that blood on there for a long time like that stuff can stink so you just want to make sure that you're frequently changing it out i like to use the always radiant flexi foam it's not flexi foam y'all <laughs> i like to use the always radiant flex foam pads these are my absolute favorite they have little holes in them that help absorb all the blood whatever pads you're using you just want to make sure that you're changing it out like i said because like i said it can get to smelling bad and then now you're smelling bad and it's just it's just a mess and then or your uh kitty cat is irritated and we don't want that so change your pads out for sure um another thing is when you're on your cycle keeping wipes on you is great because you know you wake up in the morning you take your shower but then throughout the day now you know you're bleeding and stuff so it just helps you feel fresh um honestly on or off your cycle 
wipes help you feel fresh. For me, I personally like to use these cotton nail wipes. Very simple, they're flushable, great to use. So now that we have talked about taking care of our kitty while she's on her period and we talked about how to clean her and all of that, I'm just gonna tap into um, telling y'all how I keep mine smooth. Down there, I only wax, I do not shave. Have, I haven't shaved down there in years and years and years. I've, I've been waxing for a very long time. I love waxing y'all. If you are not on the waxing train when it comes to your kitty, you need to get on it. I'm telling you, you know, people be all nervous about the pain and it do hurt. I'm not even gonna sit up here and say, it's not even that bad, cause it's bad, especially when you wait. I get my waxes done like every four to six weeks. The hair has changed tremendously down there. It is very smooth, it's like straight. Um, it's very soft, very, very soft. Um, Highly recommend waxing, y'all. Like, it's, it's the best thing. It's 10 out of 10. It hurts, but it's worth it. Now, I also noticed that I'll get in, I'll, I get ingrowns more so when I'm not on top of my exfoliating. So, as long as I stay on top of exfoliating, then I'm good to go. Now that we're talking about exfoliating, PFB. This is what I use to exfoliate my kitty. I just do the top and this really helps. It has chroma bright in it and it helps to lighten up down there and just do what an exfoliator does basically. It is a roll on, I'm gonna show y'all. It's a little roll on like this and you literally just put it on the area and you're good to go. I noticed that like when I have ingrowns and I just like put this on there, literally it goes down. It goes down. It, it actually says on here that there's ingrown relief, it's skin brightening. It's good for waxing and razor bumps. It's a cool blue roll on and it's for men and women. You can also dry brush down there and you can also do a physical exfoliant down there. Find what works for you and just make sure that you are exfoliating down there. If you are a shaver girl and you don't wanna get into waxing, that's perfectly fine. You could probably say, my kitty look good and I shave and that's perfectly fine. Whether you're shaving or you're waxing, you just wanna make sure that you are exfoliating because that will help with the overall smoothness and the brightness of your kitty. All right, you guys, I pretty much went over everything that is on my list. Um, if there is something that I missed, do not hesitate to comment down below and just let me know what I missed. Hey, girl, you didn't talk about this. And if I need to do a part two, I definitely will. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure that you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.